How can the community get involved in helping to preserve our natural resources? So we offer a number of ways that the community can get involved. Uh, during the summer and fall, we have volunteer seed collection days. Um, one of them I know is always on Indigenous Peoples Day. Um, we have that at Buffalo Trace Prairie. We usually pick switchgrass, cream gentian, prairie dock seed around that time. As it gets colder, uh, we switch from picking seed to cutting down honeysuckle. Uh, we'll bring out hand saws and loppers, and usually our volunteer events go for about two hours. We always have a winter solstice honeysuckle clearing event at Homer Lake, and then we end the day with hot chocolate around a fire. And then as it warms up um, in the springtime, just as the woodlands are starting to green up and the spring ephemeral flowers are blooming, we hand pull garlic mustard, and that's an invasive herbaceous plant that likes growing in shady areas. And we'll notice in areas that we, we pick these plants that um, the spring ephemeral flowers will move right in. And if one of these public events doesn't fit your schedule, we also have volunteer groups that meet up once or twice a month at a designated area. So we're not necessarily there, um, the, the crew, but we do provide um, tools and people just come out um, on their own time and work as a group. There's a team at Riverbend Forest Preserve that has been clearing the honeysuckle between the trail and the lake for nearly two years now. Um, otherwise, we also have individual volunteer stewards that routinely monitor and care for specific units. One of our high quality woodlands at Middle Fork is stewarded by a volunteer. He'll let us know if there's ever something he needs help with, but otherwise we don't have to worry about weeds there. That's a huge help. Aside from the manual labor, we also encourage just general citizen science efforts in monitoring plant and wildlife populations. Uh, the Natural Resource Department, we frequently use the app iNaturalist. Um, we especially use it to monitor plant species in our early restorations um, so that we can know our seed mixes that we put down are coming up um, and everything's good. Well, I just want to thank you so much, Anna, for coming out and having this chat with me. Um, and are there any final thoughts or closing words you'd like to provide before we wrap up? I just like to emphasize the importance of these natural spaces for both wildlife and people. Our preserves offer a sanctuary for many species and provide valuable ecosystem services that benefit the whole community. By protecting and preserving these areas, we ensure that future generations can enjoy and benefit from them as well. I encourage everyone to explore our preserves, participate in our programs, and join us in our conservation efforts. You just listened to an episode of Nature Notes. Thanks so much for tuning in, and if you are peddling the preserves right now, you deserve even more thanks. By participating in Pedal the Preserves, you are contributing towards the Forest Preserve Friends Foundation, the nonprofit that supports the facilities, programs, services, goals, and mission of the Champaign County Forest Preserves. Visit champagneforest.org for more information on how to donate to the Forest Preserve Friends Foundation. 